Hi all and thanks for watching. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up EMB with Reshade and Sweet Effects for AMD users. Now I do have an NVIDIA set up for this which I also made a video for earlier but I have had a request by Seaboy19 as well as Atomic Pulse who wanted to know if there was a way to set it up with an AMD card and if so if I could give a description of that so I thought I'd make up this video in order to kind of show AMD users how you can set the two of them up and as I said because it was requested on Dishonored I'm doing it with this game but it will work with any one of the other mods that I have so the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the files that we're going to need in order to do the setup I will leave links under the video if you're actually watching this from YouTube and wanted to add the additional files. So once on the main page here, you just want to go to files and download the EMB with reshade and sweet effects. Seeing as you're AMD, you don't need this Optimus file, just download the main files there. Once you've downloaded those, I will, with the notes, have a link here for the EMB files that you'll need. And you want to go through that link, and you want to go to the EMB downloads here. Now, there is no specific DX9 EMB for Dishonored, so we're using the next best. If you're doing this on a game that there is an existing one for that game, you can use that one specifically or you can use these alternates because they will work with pretty much all DX9 games. Now those four are the Generic, the Collapse, the Burnout Paradise, or the Black Mesa. And in this case I'm going to use the Black Mesa. If it doesn't work for you with Black Mesa then just use any one of the other three and I'll have all their names and everything added to the mod page after I finish this video and got the information added. So as I said we're going to download the Black Mesa and you just want to download that. I've already got the files so after they've been downloaded you want to open up the EMB files and the mod files. Now that we have those two folders open or sorry the files are open we're going to go to the actual game folder so open up your steam and go to the library dishonored right click select properties local files and browse local files now if we take a quick peek back at the mod page you'll see that the files go in the dishonored binaries win32 folder so we'll just make sure that we're in the proper location, Dishonored, Binaries, Win32. Now once here, you want to go to My Mod Download, the EMB with the Reshade Suite Effects for Dishonored. Select everything except for the folder on the top there and drag and drop that into the folder. Once that's done, you want to delete the D3, D9 at Ridge and you want to rename, rename the D3D9 suite effects to dxgi.dll. Now go into the EMB series INI and, I, and you want to disable the proxy functions here. If you combine the proxy functions, it will likely give you an error when you try and run it as the two of them I believe need that kind of NVIDIA file for all the proxy to work so basically this will be working with the EMB series over top of the reshade and suite effects rather than combined as is the NVIDIA case but it will allow you to use both and set up their effects on both so once you've done that just save and close the notepad and now go to the EMB files and you're going to select those and just drag them over. Don't overwrite the EMB 
series I and I, just skip that file and let the rest get written in there. At this point, we're pretty much all set. You just want to start your game and verify that everything is working correctly. So let's start it up and make sure everything's there and working correctly. All right, we can see the reshade is running in the uh, across this top and the EMB series also in the upper left. For some reason that screen always looks blocky but the rest of the game is fine. And all you have to do here is again go into your options and turn off your anti-alias in order for the sweet effects to work correctly with the reshade in the EMB. Once that's all set you can use your scroll lock and you can see that the effects are working. And I'll just quit game here Now if you want to make some alterations to it, or you get a, well actually let's talk about um, first the alterations. So if you want to alter any of your settings in the Suite Effects, just go to the Suite Effects folder and the Suite Effects settings text. You can make all your changes there if you'd like. Or you can go to the actual Suite Effects downloads and download different presets for the game that you may want to try. And you would just replace the file here by renaming the downloaded reset preset with this name and putting it in its place. And that's both ways that you can alter that and that would be a 2.0 suite effects settings file or down that you can replace it with. Now as far as the EMB series you just go into the I and I here and you can make any changes you want and the two of them you can try and balance them out if you'd like or just leave them as they are and they should work fairly close to the way that the NVIDIA one does. The only difference being the proxy link. But this should allow AMD users to use the EMB with the reshade and the sweet effects. Okay, so one last thing we'll do is troubleshooting. If you start the game and you get a, a start error or the game just kicks out on you, then likely it's because you're not set up with all your DX9 files and it doesn't recognize DXG9 or GXGI uh, geez I got tongue tied sorry about that DXGI it's likely it doesn't recognize that file name and it's probably because you don't have all your DX9 files installed into DX10 and I have video and set up for that that you can go to and just add those files and then it should allow your computer to recognize all the different DX9 file types. Give that a try. If there is any other problem, just let me know and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was informative and helpful. Sorry about that. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.